So today we're checking out five compact knives really quick. I'm probably not gonna throw any edits in or anything. It's just gonna be a real fast video and I love all these knives. I think these are five fantastic knives. This is the Beg Knives Mini Glimpse. And I gotta say for 80 bucks, man, I really like what Beg Knives is doing. Um, now, this one is a compact small knife, but it has some snappy action. I gotta give Beg Knives credit, man. They have probably the best action knives I've felt from this price range in a long time. Even the Bodega, which is my favorite one of the list, this is the most comfortable flipper tab. And listen to that thing. Listen to how this thing hammers out. This thing comes out with authority. <laughs> this thing cranks out there and you can use the fuller on this one. Uh, love this knife. This is the Bodega. A um, little bit more expensive. This one's about 120 for D2, but you're, you're, you're getting a, a solid handle with, with very good fit and finish. Great everything, like all the way around the board. I can't, I can't um, freak out about that one enough. Same thing with this one. A lot of the same, like not same, but a lot of similar details, you know, as far as build quality and everything goes. Um, you know, again, phenomenal snappy action. I know people are looking at the flipper tab, like of course it has snappy action. Look how big that flipper tab is. I don't care. It works so good. And this is one of the most useful blade shapes. It has a hollow grind, um, low tipped drop point. So utility cuts are going to be almost like you're using a Warncliffe. Very good utility cuts. Very pokey. Uh, being a hollow grind, it's going to be pretty slicey. The fuller you can't use. That's my one biggest nitpick. I wish I could. Um, the clip, I don't even like ceramic ball clips, but these work great. This one has um, not a lot of tension. It has plenty of spring, slips in and out perfectly fine. Um, I love the geared backspacer. Yeah, this is one for 80 bucks. I think it's well worth it for somebody who likes a compact knife. Um, now also, really quick, the D2 steel. Um, LTK did test their D2 and it actually did really good as far as HRC. Now that doesn't speak to the heat treatment, but as far as the HRC goes. Next, the little dragonfly. So this is a very small compact knife, but you can get a full four finger grip. But this is, you know, this is like a little utility cutting beast. This is a knife you can get somebody, get your girl, get anybody to throw in their purse. And because it's K390, my favorite steel in the world, this thing will hold an edge forever, for so long. And some of the sharpest edges I've ever gotten have been on K390. K390 takes a ridiculous sharp edge. Uh, I love K390. But this is a simple backlock, and that's what's cool about it is just how simple it is. It's not trying to be anything special. It's a super steel on a lightweight package. Very, very lightweight, by the way, because this is FRN scales. Uh, very easy to open with this large hole deployment. And then you have a little backlock. You can swing it forward and close it one-handed, or you can kind of do the finger trick where you manipulate it. It kind of is fun to fidget with, even though you know, it is such a little lightweight um, EDC. I kind of want to replace the scales because I'm not a big fan of FRN, but as far as the knife goes, a phenomenal little cutter. And like I said, this is definitely a knife that if you give it to somebody and they use it, they're going to really start appreciating uh, good knives, even though that's, you know, considered a somewhat of a cheap build, but with a super steel. The next one is... Oh, not this one. This isn't it, actually. <laughs> it was this, but I'm going to compare it to this to some extent because I would say if you like the Urban EDC F5.5, if you like this knife and this is something, one you know, one that you really appreciate, you might want to try this. This is the Berg Blades Slim, and this thing is so, so good. I absolutely love this knife. The detent is tuned so good. I believe Best Tech is the one doing it. We have M390 steel, titanium bolster lock, all different kinds of colors. This is just one option. There's tons of them. And right now they're on sale. Like I, I think they're still on sale. As far as when I'm filming this video, I believe they're on sale. So um, check out the prices down in the description because they, they, did, they did drop. So you know, might be the best time to pick it up because holy cow, if you love a reverse flicking action, this has some really good reverse flicking action and thumb. The thumb flick is just as good, uh, but very ergonomic. It has similar ergos to this to some extent, kind of, you know, uh, maybe a little, uh, 
Yeah, they're very similar. I'll just say they're similar. Um, but it makes it to where you have the sheep's foot blade, great utility cuts. You can break down a box. You can slice with it. You know, it's a compact EDC, but but it is wide. It is thick. You know, it's got some weight to it. But that's what's cool about it. You know, it actually, it feels like a premium knife. So, and that's what I love about it. Berg Blades, they do a good job. And uh, Best Tech, you know, being the OEM, you know, they pretty much almost always knock it out of the park. Of course, I'd like to see, you know, some uh, some things with their steel up in HRC and things like that. But regardless, the next one is the Roach. The Mini Roach, sorry. The Kaiser Mini Roach. Now, this does come with a flipper tab that you can take off like I did. It just, you know, unscrews very easily. And I unscrewed mine and took it off because... This thing is so ergonomic when you take off the flipper tab. Now, I will be honest, with the flipper tab on, it's still very ergonomic. And it has incredible snappy action. We were talking about earlier how this thing has snappy action. Similar action on this. Um, so it's hard to take off the flipper tab because it works so good. But the reverse flicking hole is equally as good. So, yeah, it's so good. And then you have, again... One of the most useful blade shapes, kind of like we were talking about, you know, just a minute ago with the um, with the the glimpse. You know, they have a similar blade shape, and I do I stand by that. This is one of the most useful blade shapes ever. Deep hollow grind, beautiful swedge, fantastic utility cuts. It's going to slice like a beast. You can turn it around and cut straps, but because it's kind of rounded, it's not the easiest, but you can do it. Um, but as far as just regular cutting purposes go, this is fan. Fantastic. Um, even choking back here, you have this little spot here for your pinky, you know, where you can really lock in. Um, beautiful sharpening tool and plunge grind. This is how it should be done. Look at all that life you have to sharpen off. Um, 154CM. Kaiser does a really good job with their 154CM. You know, so I'm always happy to see their 154CM on their knives because, like I said, they do a good job with it. Um, it, it is a mid-grade steel, but it, it's a high-tier mid-grade steel. And when it's done well, you know, it holds an edge almost as much as S35VN. So, you know, and it's a nice stainless. It's plenty tough. Takes a really good edge. Medium grit edge is what I like to put on it. Um, 600 grit, I think, is the best edge. Whew, that thing is so sticky. Wow. Anyways, good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop, and can't recommend this one enough. Like I said, I like all these knives. And then the last one is another quick Spider Co. The Spider Co. Little Native with a compression lock. So if you like this knife, but you don't like back locks, maybe you don't like FRN, you know it doesn't have the K390. I'm not sure if there's any like special editions with certain steels, but S30V from Spider Co. is still a phenomenal steel. They do a really good job with it. Probably the best S30V that I've tried is from Spider Co. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I, you know, I'm thinking about, I have a ton of knives in S30V. So anyways, it does have a deep carry wire clip that is reversible, whole deployment. It, you know, these are small knives. So, you know, you do have to kind of get used to manipulating a small knife, but you can get a full four finger grip again. So if you needed to break down a box or something or do something a little bit harder, you actually can do it. And because it's a warning, again, amazing utility cutting uh you know, abilities with this one. It is on washers, so, you know, it, it just gets smoother and smoother as time goes on. But yeah, the Spyderco Little Native, this is definitely a fantastic knife for those that like small compact knives. And, you know, being a compression lock, it's a super strong lockup. I mean, this thing is very, very solid. It'll last a very long time. Uh, you know, you rarely ever see any compression locks fail. They are really good. So not saying it's impossible, but you rarely, rarely see it. Anyways, um, like I said, all five of these knives are absolutely awesome. And, you know, I, I recommend every single one of them, just depending on your flavor, your taste, and what you want your knife, you know, for and, you know, different styles. Work hard, stay tough. You know society's relying on you. Until next time, peace.